This is Dave Life with DLTV News. Diddy has been in hot water lately for many, many things. There are at least five civil lawsuits that have been um, um, hailed against Diddy since November of 2023. The first one starting with Cassie Ventura, his ex-girlfriend who accused him of many things, including uh, sex trafficking and um, rape and sexual assault and physical assault and abuse. Today on DLTV News, we're just going to give you an overview of those four cases. Uh, so let's get right into it and I'll break it down. Ventura v. Combs. Cassie Ventura filed a federal lawsuit in the Southern District of New York in November 16th of 2023. In the lawsuit, she alleged that she was raped, subjected to years of violent crimes, sex trafficking, human trafficking, sexual assault and battery, gender motivation, sexual harassment, gender discrimination, and a hostile work environment all at the hands of Diddy. It's reported initially that Diddy did not believe that Cassie would file the lawsuit. However, when the lawsuit was filed on November 16th, 2023, it was settled in less than 24 hours. Dickerson Neal versus Combs. Joy Dickerson Neal filed a lawsuit in New York Supreme Court on November 23rd, 2023, after the Cassie Ventura lawsuit. In this lawsuit, she states that in 1991, she was a Syracuse University student who appeared with Combs in a music video. She alleges that she was drugged and sexually assaulted and a victim of revenge porn, saying that he filmed the assault and showed it to others. Dickerson Neal's response was due in court in April of 2024. Gardner v. Combs. Lisa Gardner filed a lawsuit in New York Supreme Court on November 23rd, 2023. That lawsuit has since been amended in March 12th of 2024. This lawsuit not only includes Diddy, but it also includes Aaron Hall of the R&B group Guy. In the lawsuit, she's accused Diddy and Hall of battery and sexual assault in 1990 when she was only 16 years old. The lawsuit alleges that Diddy plied her with alcohol and forced her to have sex. The lawsuit also alleges that Hall barged into the room and then also forced her to have sex with him. The lawsuit alleges that Diddy choked her unconscious in the following days. Now that lawsuit was amended March 12th of 2024 to include a transcript of a Vlad TV interview with Aaron Hall, where he uh, states that Diddy has seen him uh, have sex in the past. As of today, Gardner's attorneys have, have moved to voluntarily discontinue the case and refile in the state of New Jersey court uh, where the assault uh, allegedly occurred. Attorneys for UMG and the other music uh, companies also involved have moved to dismiss the case. They claim that the case is time barred and is otherwise deficient in matter of law. Jane Doe versus Combs. An anonymous a woman known as Jane Doe filed a federal lawsuit in the Southern District of New York on December 6, 2023. This lawsuit includes Diddy, former bad boy employee Harvey Pierre, and an unnamed third bad boy assistant. The lawsuit accuses Diddy, Pierre, and the third unnamed person of sex trafficking and gang rape in 2003, when this one was only 17 years old and a high school student. Now, Diddy formally denies these allegations, and he told the court that the lawsuit should be dismissed because of the fact that the woman waited 20 years to file this complaint, and that has prejudiced him because he's lost his ability to defend himself uh, fully and fairly. And finally, Lil Rod versus Combs. Producer Rodney Jones, also known as Lil Rod, has filed a federal lawsuit in the Southern District of New York on February 26, 2023. The lawsuit includes Diddy, Justin and Christian Combs, Lucy and Charles Grange, Ethiopia Habtamarium, Christina Corum, and Universal Music Group and Motown. In this lawsuit, Diddy is specifically accused of racketeering, sexual assault, and sex trafficking in 2022 and 2023 while working on the Love album. Jones alleges that Combs did not compensate him for his music producing work on that album as well. Now, the lawsuit also includes Cuba Gooding Jr. and accuses him of sexual assault 
and makes references to several other celebrities by name and by description. Diddy's attorneys have denied the allegations, stating, and I quote, his, meaning Little Rod's, reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen is nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner headlines. Uh, we have overwhelming uh, indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies. Now, what's interesting is uh, in light of Diddy's attorneys and Diddy himself uh, stating that these are lies and he had nothing to do with this. We do know that today, breaking news, uh, a video was obtained by CNN, which shows Cassie being uh, apparently uh, attacked and, and physically assaulted uh, by Diddy uh, in a hotel in Los Angeles. So stay tuned to DLTV News. We cover that breaking and developing story.